First, you will need a pink pipe cleaner that is about 6 cm long, bend it into 3 equal pieces like this and place a grey pipe cleaner next to it. Make sure that the end that is pointing upwards is at least twice as long as the pink one. Now wrap the grey pipe cleaner around the middle part. Once you are on the other side, create one ear and do the same on the right side. Wrap the rest of the pipe cleaner around the middle part again to create a head. You really want to focus on the center and once the pipe cleaner is finished, secure it with a small amount of glue. Now bend the ears backwards and use another grey pipe cleaner to hide the little bit of pink that is still visible behind the dog's ears. And now you can add more volume to the lower part of the face by creating a jaw. Use another pipe cleaner to cover the left ear as well and use the rest to attach the eyes to the face. Slide a black bead onto the pipe cleaner and make sure it is at the right place before gluing it down. Here you can see me adding a small piece of a white pipe cleaner to the dog's forehead to give the fur a second color and you will need another small piece about 1.5 cm long for the nose, bend it and glue it to the face. Put a black bead on another white pipe cleaner to make the nose, secure it with hot glue and cut off any excess. Now bend a grey pipe cleaner into a W shape and glue to the face as well. I've decided to trim the fur a little bit because French Bulldogs are usually not that fluffy, but don't cut off too much if you don't want the wire to show. Use another white pipe cleaner to make the mouth, bend it into a U shape and cut off any fluff. Add a tiny piece of pink felt on top for the tongue and when attaching it to the dog's head, don't get any glue onto the part that is supposed to be flexible so that you can open the mouth. Now I'm going to show you how to make the rest of the body. You will need one white pipe cleaner and about four to five grey ones. Start by cutting two pieces of the white pipe cleaner to a size of 10 centimeters for the legs. Bend them like you see me doing it in the video. The middle part should be about two centimeters long. Cut a third pipe cleaner to the same size and wrap one end around the front legs. Remember to leave a short piece for the neck. It doesn't have to be more than one centimeter. Repeat the steps to attach the hind legs. I recommend leaving at least 4 cm for the tail since a lot of it will disappear when you're forming the body and you can always crop the tail if it is too long. As you can see, I left 4 cm space between the two sets of legs for the chest, the belly and the back. Now start wrapping grey pipe cleaners around the shoulders and the neck like this and once they are stable, you can wrap the pipe cleaner around the rest of the body until you can see the desired shape. You will now see me doing this for a while, so if you get the concept and you don't want to see me wrapping four more pipe cleaners around the chest, the legs and so on, feel free to skip one and a half minutes ahead and fast forward to six minutes.
when shaping the body you want to focus on the chest and the belly because this part is a lot bigger and also use hot glue every now and then to secure the pipe cleaner. Once you're done creating the body, bend the end of each leg forward to make little paws. Here you can see me adding a few more pieces of pipe cleaners using hot glue to fill in visible gaps. And now you can trim the fur if you like. If you want, you can glue the head to the body. I chose to use wire because I wanted the dog to be able to move its head. Be very careful when you do that. I also made a black one, the only difference is that I used the fluff that I cut off earlier to make the dog look less like it is made of pipe cleaners by applying clear dry and glue to the fur and gently dabbing the fluff onto the body. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow Fun and Craft on Instagram, bye!